should go for something a bit more pointy and, and smaller and rounder and you have to think this is a volume yeah, yeah, exactly. So it's got to go around. So, so just take this as an example. You know, you can see how flat it is here and here, and how they they, they, they do the trick to get it rounder. So the whole idea is, um, is to simulate uh, a thick and thin contrast you get uh, from a, a metallic uh, pointed nib. So uh, the, the whole thing is to be able to be really sm smooth and put some pressure and then you take out the pressure. So you have to forget the, the, the way you think writing because you are you're coming from uh, a ballpoint civilization, let's say, so you have to forget it. stroke movement this yeah. the ductus is pretty different because yeah. it's, it's it's all one gesture yeah, yeah. so maybe yeah. you should try this It's now or never. <laughs> but and it, it would be really nice to, to be able that you, you, you force yourself to, to write uh, anti words and not only isolated letters. Ha, <laughs> 
Ik laat puntjes. So this shoe is is becoming um, a very popular uh, phenomenon in China. It's really recent compared to the Chinese history. It's um, this shoe started in the in the in the in the nineties in Beijing, basically as a um, uh, as a hobby for uh, elderly people uh, that practice every day, every morning in all over China, Tai Chi. Uh, dancing, etc., etc., early morning in the park. So um, each calligrapher uh, choose um, a specific uh, lettering style uh, that he will practice every day. Uh, and only the best calligrapher practice different styles. Most of the people they just choose uh, a given lettering style and they stick to it. So you can see all these people coming in the park really early, sometimes with some kids, and teaching them uh, lettering and calligraphy. 